Welcome back once again, all of my low carb friends. And for those of you who are here for the first time, welcome. Today, I have another very easy keto recipe for you. Today, I am going to show you how to make a simple, easy keto beef stew. It's getting colder outside, so stews and soups are perfect to warm you up and get that comfort, easy, quick meal. And if you want a printable version of this recipe, you can check out my website at janetsdeliciouslowcarbkitchen.com. You can find a printable version of this recipe and other goodies there for you. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see lots of easy, delicious, low-carb keto recipes, make sure you click that subscribe button and click the notification bell that's right next to the subscribe button. That way you can be notified every time I put out videos at least every Wednesday and Saturday. And if you'd like to help support the channel, make sure you scroll down in the description of the video. You'll see some affiliate links links. Anytime you purchase anything using those affiliate links, a small portion of your purchase will go to me and help support the channel. So while you do all that, let's get cooking. Place a five quart stock pot or saucepan over medium heat. Add one tablespoon of olive oil or the oil of your choice. Preheat the oil over medium heat for about three to five minutes or just until the oil in the pan are warm. Add one cup of diced jicama or turnips or any other firm vegetable of your choice. One cup of sliced carrots. It's roughly about two to three full-sized carrots that have been sliced. One celery stalk that's been chopped. And one cup of chopped onions. Stir everything together until all the vegetables are fully combined. Now you can change or adjust the amount of vegetables to your personal taste. You just want to use more or less around two and a half cups of the mixed vegetables of your choice. Cook the vegetables, stirring occasionally around three to five minutes or until the veggies are fork tender. It's okay if they have some firmness to them. You just want to be able to poke a fork into them without having to jam your fork through. Add 29 ounces or around three and a half cups of canned beef broth or the broth of your choice. A 14 and a half ounce can of diced tomatoes that are not drained. You want the juice in them. Salt and pepper to taste. And around one and a half tablespoons of the dry seasonings of your choice. I'm using dry oregano, dry basil, garlic powder, onion powder, and dry thyme. You can use whatever seasonings you want. However you want your stew to be flavored, that is up to you. Stir everything all together until everything is fully combined. Add one pound of the steak of your choice that's been cooked and chopped into your desired size pieces. I'm just using some leftover sirloin steak that I made the other night. It's up to you what type of steak you want and how big you want the pieces. Just make sure it is cooked because we're wanting this to be a a quick stew. Stir the steak in until it's fully combined. Bring the stew to a low boil. Then once the stew comes to a low boil and you just start seeing some bubbles starting to form, put a lid on your saucepan, reduce your heat to low, and simmer for about 20 to 30 minutes or until your vegetables are tender and your flavors have set in. Once your stew is all done cooking, Ladle your desired amount of stew into your serving bowls. You serve this warm. I like to serve it with either my biscuits or some cornbread. You can serve it however you choose. If you do have any leftovers, allow them to cool completely. Then store them in an airtight container in your refrigerator for up to three days. Or you can put it in an airtight freezer safe container and freeze it for up to three months. Eat and enjoy. And that's our recipe of the day. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you want to see more videos like this, make sure you click that thumbs up like button, click that subscribe button, leave me a comment if you want to. Let me know if there's any recipes that you'd like to learn how to make and I'll do what I can to get those out there for you. And as always, keep cooking.